Hello everybody, in this tutorial I would like to explain how do we use the auto-ordering system. So firstly, in order for you to be able to use the auto-ordering system, you will have to have a subscription plan that includes our orders processor, which is here. So if you're unable to click it, it means that your subscription plan is not supportive of this and you have to go to the setting page and change your subscription plan to a plan with auto orders. Once you have that and updated that, you will be able to go to the orders processor and set it. In a different video, I explain how you set the order processor. Generally, you connect your Amazon account, your Gmail account, you decide what are your preferences for the auto ordering, you set the messages that will, send, will be sent to the buyers, which notifications you would like to get to your emails about order failing or not, and you can even connect cashback users. Once this is all set, all your orders will be on, automatically be placed on Amazon by our, by, by our boat. So when you go to the order processor, uh, sorry, to the orders page, you will see that Orders, once they came in, they will be automatically in the status of in order process. Um, in order process looks like this. Let me just show you. I'm not sure I chose the right one. One second. Yes. Okay. This order now is being sent to process, meaning it will be placed on Amazon. Once it's completed, its status will be changed to ordered. Automatically by the system, you won't have to do anything. The status will be changed to, um, to ordered, and a first message will be sent to the customer, plus a feedback will be given to the buyer, okay? And the Amazon order number will appear here in the source order ID. After that, when the tracking number will be updated, our system will pull this data from your Gmail accounts. It checks every one hour. It pulls out all your recent Amazon tracking updates email from your Gmail and looks for the right orders and update it. Once the tracking number is updated, the status of the order will be changed to shipped. Let me show you how ship looks like. And again, all of this will be done automatically. You won't have to do a thing. Once the status is changed to shipped, it's of course being done on eBay. The tracking number is being inserted to your eBay account and you keep uh, the right um, score from eBay for updating it on time. The status will be changed to shipped and you will be able to see the tracking number right here. The carrier and the tracking number all will be inserted automatically. And if you have set the middle, middle or second message, uh, the buyer will also get that with the tracking number. And then after uh, X number of days that you will set on the orders processor for the last message to be sent, asking the buyer to give you a feedback. Here is the last message, the thank you message. You set how many days you would like it to be sent. Um, the status of the order will be changed to completed and your buyer will get the last and final message saying, hey, uh, I can see that you got the item. If you enjoyed and you liked it, please give me a positive feedback. It's all up to you to change and edit that. So all of this is being done automatically for you. Please note that there are cases where items might, uh, orders might fail, okay? Sometimes the reasons are unknown, but sometimes it's very clear. Uh, you can go to our help center and you'll be able to see an article on our English articles down here under auto orders. 11 common reasons for auto orders failures. And here it will explain to you exactly what you need to do in each uh, situation where an order fails and what is the reason, unknown reason, not enough gift card balance, and so on. Uh, and one important thing is really that you need to have a gift card balance. Our auto ordering only works with gift cards and not with uh, purchasing through your credit card. So this is crucial for you to, uh, to understand. 
And uh, that's it. Uh, if you have any more questions, please uh, check, first of all, the Help Center for more information. And if you still need our help, we're here for you at the support chat. Thank you and see you in the next tutorials.